Hello everyone and welcome to Machine Learning Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we provide a brief demonstration of an open source text-to-video and text-to-image model and algorithm called LTX Video. Text-to-video models enable you to create videos from a textual description. And here is one example. Here is the prompt or the textual description. A woman with short brown hair and light skin smiles at another man with short blonde hair. And here's the remaining part of the text that describes the scene, the camera angle, and some other details. And here's the generated video. As you can see over here, the video relatively accurately represents the text. And you can see that the quality is relatively good. Here is the second example showing rocks, shoreline, and the ocean. And here is the third example showing a woman wearing a blue jacket and a black hat. The idea of generating videos from text is revolutionary. And most likely in the near future, there will be a large number of AI-generated commercials, clips, and movies. Those of you who follow this channel know that we have covered several text-to-video open source models in the past. We have explained how to install them on a local computer and how to use them. Our experience shows that it is still very challenging to use open source text-to-video models. This is mainly because it takes a significant amount of time and experience to fine-tune the textual description such that the video matches the textual description. In this tutorial, we will cover maybe the best open source text to video model we have seen so far. And the name of this model is LTX Video. We will run an online demonstration and in the future tutorials, we will explain how to install and run this model locally on a computer. Here's the main GitHub page of the model. The first thing that you need to look for is the license description. Namely, a number of AI models are proprietary or they cannot be used for commercial purposes. In the case of this model, the license is Apache, and you can convince yourself that this is the case by opening the license file. And here it is. The Apache license is relatively permissive license and you can modify the code and use it freely. Let us first briefly go over this GitHub page and then we will explain how to use an, an online demonstrator. We will also explain a challenge of creating good text prompts. We will first use the suggested text prompts and then we will create our own prompts. Let us first go over the introduction. There are several important points over here. First of all, you can see that the frame rate is 24 frames per second. And here you can see the resolution of the generated videos. Honestly speaking, this is relatively good frame rate and relatively good resolution. Then, over here, you can see several examples of generated videos. Below every video, you can see the text prompt. These text prompts are important and they can be used as templates for creating your own videos. And I will explain the importance of this later on. Namely, you will see that if you start creating your own text prompts from scratch, the videos will not be realistic. Instead, a better strategy is to use these text prompts and to start from there and to generate them and in that way the videos will be of better quality. Here you can see some other examples. For example, this video reminds me of a scene from Sopranos, or this scene can be from an action movie, or this scene can be from some thriller, or some detective movie, or etc. Then you can see this video over here that shows waves, or this video showing the nature. Consequently, you have several text templates over here, and you can use them to generate your own videos. And here's the quick start guide. In this video tutorial, we are going to use online demonstrators. And in the follow-up video tutorial, we will explain how to download 
and install this model on your local computer such that you can generate videos on your local computer. I'm not sure what are the hardware requirements for generation. However, we will investigate that in the future video tutorials. Another important thing over here is that this model can also be integrated with Confi UI, which is very important. And here is a very important section, Model User Guide. And this is the most critical section in every text-to-video model. Namely, my experience shows that if you randomly start typing your own text description, then the video quality will not be good. This is the case with the previous text-to-video models that I covered as well as with this one. So let's read what's written over here. When writing the prompts, focus on detailed chronological descriptions of actions and scenes. Include specific movements, appearances, camera angles, and environmental details, all in a single flowing paragraph. Start directly with the action and keep descriptions literal and precise. Think like a kinematographer describing a short list. Keep within 200 words. For best results, build your prompts using this structure. And over here, they suggest how the prompts should be structured. Start with the main action in a single sentence, and here you can see further instructions. Now, what I suggest, again, is to start from these text templates, and by reading these text templates, you will learn how to write your own text. This is also very important. And over here, you can see some parameter guides, what is very important is the guidance scale. The guidance scale should be from 3 to 3.5. And you can see the inference steps. You can see that more steps lead to better quality and fewer steps lead to more optimal speed. Next, let's run some tests. First of all, expand some of these prompts and copy them. So I will copy this prompt over here. Then I will go to Quick Start Guide and over here you have three options. The first option is the Hugging Face Online Demonstrator and I've noticed that Hugging Face Online Demonstrator is relatively slow. You can try it out, however it's slow and I will not cover it in this video tutorial. And here's the second one that looks and works relatively good. Over here, you need to enter the prompt. So let's paste the text description and let's expand this section. Here you will enter your text description and over here you need to enter negative prompt and over here you, you can see suggestions. Then a random seed means that every time you generate a video, the video will look different. You can change this to set this to repeatable video. Here you can adjust the number of inference steps. Since I'm running this online, I will max out the number of inference steps. And here's the guidance scale. If you remember, it is suggested that the guidance scale should be between 3 and 4 and consequently let's keep the guidance scale at 3.5 and let's click on run and let's see the generated video and maybe after 10 seconds you will see the video over here so let's be patient and voila here it is looks amazing to be honest the face looks realistic and you can see that it's indeed a woman with long brown hair and light skin smiles at another woman with long blonde hair. Here's another thing. If you run this model once again, you will see another video. So be patient over here. Again, it takes around 8 to 10 seconds and here is another video. It looks really, really nice and good. And you can include this video tutorial video in your 
for example, video clip, a student project, a student video, or even in your YouTube video. Next, let's investigate the sensitivity of this model by changing this prompt. So let's change a woman to a man. So let's type here a man and let's save it short red hair. For example, let's say red and light skin smiles at another woman with long, let's put here, for example, not blonde by blue hair. The woman with, so it's a man now, the man with red hair wears a black jacket, let's put the blue jacket over here, and has a small, barely noticeable mole on her right cheek. The camera angle is closed up, focused on the man with focused on the man with brown with red hair's face. The lightning is warm and natural, likely from the set rising sun. Let's put here rising sun, casting a soft glow on the scene. The scenes appears to be real life footage. Okay, so let's run this and let's see what happens. Again, it's going to take maybe 8 to 10 seconds to generate the video. And let's see. Wow, it looks amazing. Wow, this truly looks amazing. The, indeed, man has red hair and the woman has blue hair, which is truly amazing. Next, I will explain an issue with writing text prompts. Namely, I have wrote a text prompt without following the guidelines. And here it is. A Roman warrior is walking down an ancient Roman street. In his left hand, he carries a sword and in his right hand, he carries a red shield. The sword is shiny and clearly shown. The shield is shiny. The warrior holds the shield in his right hand. He is about 30 years old, let's see further, and has black hair and blue eyes. He is dressed as an ancient Roman soldier. He wears light gray armor and the Roman helmet. Initially, the camera shows, let me see here, let me just go down. Initially, the camera shows the complete warrior from far away. Behind the Roman warrior, there is a Roman Colosseum and a Greek statue. The day is sunny and the sky is blue. The camera zooms in toward the face of the Roman warrior. The face is clearly shown and the scene is kinematics and resembles the gladiator movie. So let's run this text prompt and let's see what happens. Let's see. And here it is. Okay. Now you can see several artifacts over here. Although the background looks relatively good and initially the face looks good, although this Roman soldier looks a little bit like Keanu Reeves, there is an issue. And you can obviously see several issues. First of all, you can see the shield. So let's run it again. And here it is. Now again, you can see that this doesn't look very good. And here you can see a very important issue that appears when a user doesn't follow the suggested guidelines. And I experienced similar issues with other models. Maybe this scene looks a little bit better. Consequently, you need to fine tune this text prompt and my suggestion is to go over these text prompts, try to find a text description that kind of loosely matches what you want to show. Of course, none of these videos over here shows historical scenes. However, you can start, for example, from this scene and then change, for example, the description, say that this person wears an armor, has a helmet behind, there is, for example, a Colosseum or something similar. In the future tutorial, 
I will try to run this model locally and I will try to fine-tune it. 